All right. I love it, these top tips. It's Python on Hardware Time. Yeah. Okay, so first Wait, up. Wait, did you, did you mean to skip this one? Yes, I, Sorry. yeah, I'm Sorry. doing this one first. Sorry. Python on hardware, then I'm gonna skip back to I apologize. The, no, it's okay. I, cause it, so there's a lot of Python stuff going on. I know, on. I know, I know. Yeah. Sorry, um, ignore me. No, it's fine. I went out of order. That's fine. Um, so this is a little snapshot of the newsletter. Um, a little bit of a reminder, big CircuitPython news for day. CircuitPython it's is- It's a snaky date. It's CircuitPython day, and it's 8-6. 2021, it's a Friday. Yep. And at Adafruit, there is no, there's no public holidays in August, so we decided it's a day off for our team, and it's a float holiday if they want. But we'll have, at 1 p.m. so far on Friday, it's going to be uh, Katni, Jeff, Dan. At 3 p.m., you're going to do a, a board, board tour. tour. Board, board tour. Scott's going to do a deep dive, and then we're going to add some more CircuitPython folks throughout the day, yep. and then we'll have some things for people to do. So yep. if you have a CircuitPython project... It's a great um, time to show it off, come by the Discord, yeah, yeah. you want to contribute, you want to have a bug fix, do you want to test out the latest releases? Yeah. CircuitPython day. And everything's recorded, so you don't have to worry about missing it. You can always watch it later. Okay, um, Scott was on the... Um, Talk Python to me live stream. This was with Damien, uh, founder of MicroPython, Scott sort of Python, and uh, check it out. Uh, really good listen. Michael Kennedy is an excellent podcaster, and you can hear all sorts of things that have happened with MicroPython and CircuitPython. And um, I got through most of it. Um, I have to still listen to the last bits, but I thought it was interesting about how both Damien and Scott commit. I think this like. Python experience in two different ways, but you could tell how well it's mashed and merged together now, especially with how we're doing things with our sensors and how we're doing things with peripherals and how there's this like really powerful Python thing, uh, this virtual machine that Damien made. So anyways, yeah. I thought it was neat to kind of watch them, it's the, good. The, two of the two of them together and uh, talk about how a lot of these things work. Um, 7.00 Alpha 4. A lot of stuff is yeah. changing in 7, but there's a lot of good fixes as well. I mean, we're just cramming 7 full of so many updates and fixes. It's going to be a very big update, yep. uh, but also a very good update. There's a Moo beta. You can check that out. It's one of the editors that people like to use. Um, I have some newsletter statistics. I'll talk about that in a second. And then um, the Python art, which I'm going to skip back to. Um, there's a lot of neat things you can do with Python, keeps, like keeps, keeps. like making keyboards with it, or doing art with it, or robotics. Yeah, making games, or you know, you name it, you could probably do it um, with Python right now. And so that's why we're excited about all the things going on in the world of Python and hardware. So um, don't this forget, this newsletter, yeah, yeah, don't forget the the Circuit Python Day. But this newsletter is pretty popular, and I wanted to go over some stats oh, with yeah. it Oh, yeah, we have the stats report. Yeah, so um, we were trying to figure out, um, we kind of knew things were still going okay, but um, we were just trying to figure that out. So I'll just give you the, the, the high-level stuff. So we're almost up to 9,000 subscribers. Please consider joining at Adafruit Daily. We don't spam. How much do you have to pay? Zero. It's free. We don't spam. We don't do weirdo tracking. We're, we don't, uh, I was reading uh, a person's blog that I, that I like, and they were like, Online commerce is terrible because you go to a website and now you're signed up for a newsletter. Nothing ever works out. Um, com computers are like, their fans start spinning because there's so many frameworks and things loading in. And I'm just like, wow, like we did, I think, a really good job with our newsletter because we keep it separate from the store experience. So anyways, we're almost up to 9,000 subscribers. Year-over-year uh, -year growth, we did the quarterly thing. 12% quarter one, 10% quarter two so far. Um, you know, it gets a little bit harder. But this is a lot of people for a newsletter that's kind of hard to sign up for. Um, we don't go out of our way, and this is people that are interested. So we'll see. We want to get to like about 10,000. We think that's that's where it'll it'll be in a good spot. Um, but please uh, send in the content and consider subscribing to the Python Hardware News. And then um, $5.4 million. What's that all about? What do you think this, what do you think this bought? Uh, a Virgin Galactic flight? I don't know. No. It bought an NFT of the first internet. <laughs> this is source the code for the www. Source code for the World Wide Web. Tim oh, Berners Lee. Is it like him? He scrolls through all the code for Yeah, so Tim Berners Lee goes through this code and um, 
this was sold for, this is not crypto, you, I guess they could have paid in crypto, but it was 5.4 uh, million. And before everyone freaks out, this is what he said. I'm not selling the source code. I'm selling a picture that I made with a Python program that I wrote myself. Hey, that's why it's in the Python hardware section. And I'm saying that this might be the most expensive Python program ever made. 5.4 million, and you get a copy of this. And you can go to the Sotheby's site and just see exactly. That's one of the things about these NFTs. I said, for 5.4 million, <laughs> you should throw in a next box where it was actually developed. Oh, yeah. Um, so anyways, that's the, uh, that's the Python hardware news. All of us can endeavor to sell a Python program for $5.4 million. You just have to invent the World Wide Web. And that's Python hardware. Thank you, Blinka.